Howdy Simmers! Today I have a speed build for you. So for context, in the last part of my Cardigan Legacy series, which is episode 13 for reference, I mentioned that I wanted to move the Cardigan family out to Chestnut Ridge as kind of a birthday present for Daisy, because in the next episode, Daisy's going to become a child, and child sims can actually ride horses. And so I figured it'd be kind of a nice thing to move them out of San Sequoia. I feel like they've been there for way too long. And yeah, so I built them a little ranch out in Chestnut Ridge because, of course, I have to build every living environment that any of my sims move into. So here's what I did. I'll start out by saying that this is not actually a ranch. It's more of a house with a little like undercover area for a horse. And it's like that for two reasons. The first being that this is not a big lot. It's a 20 by 20 lot. It can in no way fit a horse and a bunch of mini goats and mini sheeps and a llama and chickens and a cow and whatever else. <laughs> but the second reason being that I actually went into my Cardigan Legacy save and saw how much money they had. They only had like 30,000 simoleons, so they really couldn't afford to have this like huge ranch. And so I gave myself a budget of like 25,000 simoleons because obviously I still want them to have some money once they move. So it's not a big space whatsoever. But I think it came out really nicely in the end. I did want to try to fit three bedrooms in here and it did not work out. So it's just a two bedroom with, I think, one bathroom in total. And that bathroom is downstairs, which is probably not like super convenient, but it is what it is. I may do with the space that I had. But in the last part, if you guys haven't seen that yet, uh, we did actually have another kid. So we have two children at the moment. We have Daisy and then we have the new baby Delilah, who is actually going to be an infant uh, fairly soon at the same time that Daisy is a child. So when I go to do the kids room, which is actually shared by Daisy and Delilah in this build, uh, you'll see that I have it kind of prepped for an infant and a child because that's just how old they're going to be by the time that we move them into the house. So I did start by putting some starter furniture down just so I could try to figure out a layout because with it not being a very big lot, it's not going to be a big house. I need to make sure that we have space for all the necessities. So I do start off by actually putting together the kitchen. It's really tiny. And while I know I don't put a trash can in the recording, rest assured, I do add trash cans after the fact. And so when we actually go to tour the house, there will be trash cans and a mailbox because I did not change that out. And I... I feel like I forget that every single time that I do a build. It's just not something that I think about. But yeah, for the downstairs area, I did leave it kind of open concept. And because it is a small area, we do have to go on the smaller side of things. So yeah, and some stuff that we have currently at the house in San Sequoia, I will be taking with me, which is why I did not include like a toddler potty or a high chair or anything. So we will grab those from the current cardigan house before I move them out to this place, which I have called the cardigan mini ranch on the gallery. So it is available to download. I did not use any custom content for this. So pure base game and any packs, primarily horse ranch. I did try to use a lot of that in this build. So, and I remembered to paint the ceilings, which is a win for me. So there we go. Uh, but it's really nothing too fancy. So, and of course, when we get to landscaping, don't judge me. I am not good with landscaping. We know this. <laughs> but yeah, I think overall, this turned out okay for what it is. So it's actually, I think, a starter ranch. I think it only cost me like 19,000 simoleons in the end. I think that's how much the lot ended up being. I'm not entirely sure. I can double check when we actually go to tour it. But yeah, I mean, it, this really is kind of it so in the future i think we'll try to make some more money and then when daisy is old enough to be on her own we can send her to one of the bigger lots in chestnut ridge and give her like a full on ranch but we're in the kids room right now and i don't really give them a lot so as you can see they have a dollhouse in the hallway though so we're, we're utilizing that small landing space as good as we can um but i did remember to put a dresser and they have a mirror and there are a few toys around for uh, the infant especially so yeah it's not a fancy area it's really really small but i mean hey we, we've got some stuff and i included a toy box with a little rocking horse on it to kind of fit the theme of you know horses and 
all that stuff. So, there we go. And overall, I think we're almost done with the actual house. Uh, we'll move into the kind of horse undercover space here in a moment. I also did not put a computer on the desk because we have a computer at the Cardigan house already, so I will make sure to grab that as well. But we're moving to the outside now, and it's really nothing special. I didn't do too much. I'm not like an outdoorsy building person, so I'm not a builder. We know this. So I just did the best I could. I gave our future horse a little undercover space, which I do actually end up making bigger than this because I want to try to get the like water and food thing under there as well. So I do make it a little bit bigger, especially because that bed is so huge. <laughs> so it's only extended a little bit, but we are about to get into landscaping and I just put some like dead grass down essentially. I struggled with landscaping so much, by the way, because I wanted to use some debug stuff but I wanted to filter it specifically by horse ranch, and I cannot figure out how to do that in, uh, what is it? Better Build By, the mod from Twisted Mexi. Like, I just cannot figure out how to filter debug stuff. It never works for me. And so I'm so confused and frustrated by that. But, yeah, I, I put a little bit of landscape terrain paint stuff down, and... That's the extent, but let's hop into the game and check out this build. And welcome to the Cardigan Mini Ranch. So this is what it looks like, and as you can see, I did put a mailbox down. It, it's right there. Do you see it? Right there. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, there's really not a lot going on here, and I apologize for that. But it's a small lot. What was I supposed to do? So there is our little undercover horse area. And then the house is fairly simple. I think not a lot of shapes going on, but that's fine. All right, so let's move into the downstairs area. All right, so coming in, we have a dining table here, which I will replace one of those chairs with the high chair when we do move the Cardigan family into here. Uh, as you can see, I did put a trash can, like I said. And then we have the kitchen over here, which is very, very simple, but I did make sure there was a dishwasher at least because... There are some items that, while they are luxury, they are kind of necessities, and I will not let my poor babies hand wash every dish. So there we go. Uh, over here is a very small living room. So we just had one couch, and I think it's honestly fine. It can fit three people, which in a four-person household is not a big deal. Like, if anything, they could pull up one of the dining chairs or even the chair from the desk over there and just, like slide it across to the living room if they wanted to watch tv so i think that's fine that doesn't actually happen in the game but like in real life that would be the logical way to do stuff and here we have the smallest bathroom you've probably ever seen and i know that's a lie because you can make like one by three bathrooms i think but yeah this is our only bathroom in the house i did manage to get a bathroom shower combo though that would kind of fit the vibes a little bit more so yeah lots of wood happening in here and i don't mind all of the different wood tones going on <laughs> so let's head upstairs now all right and then upstairs we have really nothing going on we do have the dollhouse right here though which i did pick out the barn one that we got with horse ranch because i just thought it fit the vibe pretty well and it is pink because Daisy's color is pink. <laughs> Does anyone else associate colors with their sims? Like I, I feel like that's how I just keep track of people in general in my sims households. But this is the kids room and it is pink and purple to match the colors of Daisy and Delilah. So we have dresser over here with just some clutter items on it. And then we have a few toys around. The crib is pink, but that's because I couldn't find a purple variant that I really liked. And we do have the bunk bed being pink as well for Daisy. So I do really like that the cribs snap under those bunk beds, so that should work functionally. It is very convenient. And then coming through this door, we have the master bedroom, which is where... Harmony and Penny will be. So I did want to put a carpet under this bed originally, but I just couldn't find one that fit the vibes and the size of the room. So I just gave up on it and it's fine. Uh, but for the most part, I think that this came out really well. 
I may have to change like the ceiling color here because I feel like the dark brown and the white shiplap kind of thing just don't go well together. But I could leave it. It's not like we're really going to see the ceilings that much anyway. But I, I just figured that that would be kind of nice. And yeah, so it's a very simple room. There's not a lot going on here, which is fine, you know, <laughs> but I think it turned out really cute. And I do really, really like this house. So there we go. I also remember to put the wild prairie grass trait onto this lot because I figured it would be easier than just like putting a bunch of paragraphs down for the horse it'll just spawn randomly and it's fine but how much was this house in the end actually okay the lot value is eighteen thousand nine hundred and eighty three simoleon so almost nineteen thousand so it is definitely a starter ranch but that is fine you know a in the future like i said we will move daisy to kind of the bigger area once she's old enough but I think this is a good little space for a growing family, don't you? <laughs> but I am really happy with how this turned out, and this was actually really fun to build. So I, I do love building, but I do acknowledge I'm not the best at it. Uh, but I am improving, for sure. At least I feel like I'm improving. But that is the Cardigan Mini Ranch, so I hope you guys enjoyed the build. Uh, if you want to download this, it is on the gallery. My ID is the Simming Koala with two A's at the end. It's always in the description for you guys if you want to go to my gallery and download anything. I have a lot of builds on there, so if you go through there and find anything that you really like, make sure to download it and maybe leave a little heart on it so I know that you guys liked it. But I definitely had a lot of fun building this, and I don't know why. Big builds always scare me. I, <laughs> I have done a few big builds in the past, but I really do feel more at home with building these smaller kind of cozy type builds but let me know in the comments if there is anything you want to see me build i am definitely down to try out some new stuff but yeah with that i'm gonna go thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video subscribe to the channel and make sure you have notifications on so you don't miss anything be sure to follow my socials links are below i'll see y'all soon bye